I thought today we'd focus on uh, an area that of MSK that, that um, we see quite frequently in our practice, uh, and particularly if any of you are giving exams such as FRCR, uh, the MSK component of the exam, they love to concentrate on plain radiographs, as many of you are aware. So I think, hope that this session will be quite useful for you, both in terms of exams as well as in terms of uh, practical uh, application. So we'll keep it pretty simple. We'll have lots of plain, plain films, plain radiographs. We'll have some cross-sectional correlation, um, and we'll do about 15 cases, depending on how the time term is. OK, so first radiograph. Um, I'll give you a moment to have a look at it. You've got your uh, frontal and uh, oblique views of uh, one of the hands. And I'm sure that most of you are aware that there is, there is a fracture uh, at the base of the thumb. Now, it looks quite innocuous. It's uh, an oblique uh, intraarticular fracture affecting the base of the thumb. Um, and as many of you are aware, um, this is just another example of the same, same, same type of fracture. And as many of you are aware, this is the Bennett fracture. Uh, it was first described by this surgeon from, uh, from Ireland. And as we spoke about it, the base of the thumb, it's intraarticular. And what's important about this fracture is that it's often one that requires internal fixation. So if you do see something like this, it's, it's best that you get on the phone and speak directly to whoever's on the other line or flag it up because this will need internal fixation fairly quickly. And the reason for that is the abductor pollicis tendon attaches onto the, sorry, attaches onto the, onto the bare side of the thumb and has a tendency to pull the uh, fracture fragment away from the rest of the, rest of the carpal. Uh, if it's comminuted, then it's obviously known as a Rolando fracture. And in fact, that fracture actually isn't as bad as the Bennett fracture. So it's quite counterintuitive in the sense that the comminuted fracture isn't as bad as the non-comminuted Bennett fracture because you have so many fragments that they aren't pulled on as much as when you have one single fragment of the Bennett fracture. 